Hi guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different to the ones I've normally making, but since I'm getting back into the swing of doing videos, I thought it would be something interesting and a little bit of a change of pace. Um, so let me know what you guys think and leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, but you've obviously clicked on this video to take a look at what it is. Um, so to the left, we have a Exoterra 45 by 45 by 60 centimeter tall, uh, frog tank. It houses eight graceful or dainty tree frogs. Now they are roughly around the five or s just about five or so month age and uh, have been all cohabitating in a bioactive uh, terrarium or vivarium uh, for just over three months now. Now uh, this is my weekly cleaning schedule so it's really not very vigorous or uh, it doesn't take a lot of time, it takes me about 10, 15 minutes at max. Now I have been letting things get a little bit out of hand in here in terms of I haven't been picking up any dead leaves and stuff, but being that it is bioactive, you don't really need to do that, but it looks a little unsightly and today I'm gonna to be taking those ones out. Um, so for the gist of things before I um, do the time-lapse video, um, I'll uh, take the uh, phone off the tripod and I'll show you some of the things that I do uh, before I do it. So if we get in nice and close, you can see the tank here. So in all its glory, um, you can see they absolutely cover their, uh, if it focuses, their water bowls with food, poop, uh, dirt or soil, um, as well as their little uh, pond or reservoir that I have here at the waterfall. Now, other than that, the main things that I do is that I, you can see bits and pieces here um, of poop. Now I simply throw that under the ground. Um, all that is really doing is putting it back into the soil and making these plants grow absolutely fabulously like they already are. Other than that, I give the glass a wipe down and I cut off dead leaves and either throw them on the ground, bury them or take them out completely. And that's basically it. So I'll get into that video. Uh, I'll get into the time-lapse video of it. So I'll put a bit of music behind so you guys can have a bit of a listen and just enjoy and watch back. But before I do that, I'll get in and have a bit of a close-up shot of the frogs since we don't often get to see them. So if we can see in there, a little bit hard to see. That's a real good shot. <laughs> Going in the back. Real personable little guys. Got to move this guy out. That's one thing that these tanks, they do like to hug the corners. All right, lovely. Well, I'll pause this now and we'll get on the time lapse. All right, so as you can see, that honestly took me, I think the video was seven minutes, uh, and that is my weekly cleaning schedule on these frog tanks. You can see, cleaned off all the leaves, nothing too fancy there, uh, pulled out some of the dead ones, cleaned off the poop off some of them, refilled all their water bowls, and uh, cleaned everything. So it's really simple. Um, they don't produce a lot of waste. If they ever do, that's the benefit of having a bioactive tank, that it's got this there and you don't need to stress about it that that 
beneficial bacteria is constantly breaking down the waste and producing more nutrients for these awesome plants to grow. I mean, look at the color of these guys. They have just been doing so well and I've been really happy with the growth of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below of what videos you'd like to see next. And I'll hopefully do some more uh, enclosure videos of the snakes. I'm thinking about uh, converting this one to the same purchase as that. Uh, and uh, let me know if you guys would like to see how I made those perches uh, removable. Uh, so that, that'll be really cool for the snakes. So uh, hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you in the next video.